Today we're going to be bringing you a new image title. Analog number one. You are now watching Hoodoo TV. Welcome back to Hoodoo TV. I'm Jared. And I'm Hoosier. Today we are talking about Analog number one, a new title by Image. Awesome book, really cool stuff. This is by Jerry Dugan with yes. art by David O'Sullivan mm -hmm. and colors by Jordi Belair. Jerry Dugan is a character and a half. Um, he has done quite a bit of books and he's got another one that we got to meet at Image Expo that's the Dead Rabbit that's coming out soon. Mm -hmm. This one just recently relaunched the beginning of April and it is a really cool story about Jack McGinnis and this guy is a big old tough guy. He used to be a company man. Um, and I think he goes by a ledger man now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this book is great. And we feel like you guys need to check this out for yourself. So we're not going to get into too many spoilers on this one. Uh, we want to keep this one as spoiler free as possible. Because right. I think it is definitely worth picking up and having this kind of Spoil on your own. <laughs> right. And, and number one, get started with it right now. Get going on it. Um, and that's that's a great concept. But make sure you hit subscribe so you get other number ones that are like this too. Um, but Jack McGinnis. Yes. And he is a funny, witty guy as well. He is. He's got a great personality. I mean, he's he can spar with the best of them. You know, this verbal sparring that goes back and forth. And I mean, he is so sure of himself too. And he's surrounded himself with a pretty good team as well. I mean... He's looking for skill and he's got skill around him. So I'm, he's a cool character. Right. Um, and ultimately this is a world where privacy is no longer a thing. Mm -hmm. Everything's out in the open. And in the world we live in now, that's a scary thing. Yeah, it's very much a timely book to come out, especially with all these things going on about social media and you know, what really is private anymore. That's crazy. All right. In this book, there was a single moment in which pretty much everything got open and shared for everybody. And then we get these two camps. We get these people who are just decided to say, screw it. I have no privacy in my life. I'm going to be open about literally everything. All right. And then there's also this other camp where people pretty much have turned away from all technology, trying to just, you know, get away from any footprint they might have on the grid and they live a more analog lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And as you said, mm -hmm. Jack is a ledger man. Mm -hmm. And so he's, his job is to move information that people want to keep quiet and private pretty much through a physical copy <laughs> and he does it in the first five pages so well mm -hmm. it is a cool imagery of the way this is done and who this guy is um that you get to see his job um you're gonna know if you're gonna like this book i believe in the first five pages mm -hmm. um and it is like i say again to the wittiness of mcginnis with him doing the verbal jabs back and forth and some physical jabs um but it's a weird world that w it's so connected to what where we're at today yeah with facebook just doing their recent dump that happened um with everything everybody being so connected in with so many different t pieces of technology um with you know just all of it and the drones that are everywhere the google goggles that are everywhere um this book is perfect time for it and it yeah. plays so well and we get to see how kind of Jack had a finger in on making this mistake and then what it's done for him in the position he's in now to uh, to be where he's at. Um, but like, I really liked this story a lot. Um, I will be pulling this book getting number two. Yeah, uh, me too. I think this book left us on a great cliffhanger. I mean, it did everything right. We're getting introduced to really good characters. Um, and I mean, what just really does fascinate me is just kind of this idea of like, you know, what if, I mean, this future isn't far off from our mm -hmm. own, you know, it's kind of that scary idea of like, what if you don't have any privacy and the web is practically where you live and everybody has a connection to it. And that's what really has kind of, uh, I don't know, attracted me to this book. Mm -hmm. And what really connected me to that is like this 
what if of this near future that could very well possibly be a thing you know right we're around the corner on it i know i don't know what to believe on it it's nuts but art was really cool on it oh absolutely um, it played well it matched the story really well um to me the lead character and um the art kind of reminded me a little bit of the boys in a way hmm. just that heavy line drawn lots of inks in it um just that chiseled jaw of a guy um they kind of you know resembled one enough to me one another to me um but i i liked it all the way around again story art uh colors jordy bell art colors mm -hmm. i don't need to say anything more than that besides they're awesome and everybody should know that if you're in comic books <laughs> right um she's one of the premier colorists and um yeah together i'm just gonna give this a score right now and i'm gonna say all together right now kind of interested where it goes um i'd say about a 4.25 for, for me mm -hmm. i like it yeah yeah i'm i'm right around there myself you know this is it's a great book i mean you said the art is great and that is absolutely true um it's uh, the way that they design the setting is so interesting to me because it's very much recognizable yet there's these little pieces of you know future technology that aren't so in your face as like a ray gun or anything like that but we've got drones flying in the air you've got these self-driving cars and we've got all these things and these different ways of life people are living i mean they really did make it feel like this is this is our future and here's what happens when you just move it you know five years right and i think i think you know david o'sullivan did such a good job to really convey that and you know it it makes sense is is really what i'm saying and um yeah the story is just it's just great it, it's gripped me it's it's i want to know what's going to happen next and i can't wait for issue number two journey bill iron on the colors just killing it yeah for me this is a 4.5 um it's just because of how relatable it is, it just kind of drives the point home, and I, I felt it. So, yeah, mm -hmm. gotta give it that. If you were in this situation, all privacy is lost, which side would you go on? Would you be digital, or would you go analog? Good question. They're watching us on YouTube. They're probably gonna go digital. It's possible. I don't know. I still like my books in analog, though. Yeah. I don't like those digital copies really hey if you like this video be sure to hit the like button below there's also that subscribe button down there too make sure you punch that we'd appreciate it follow us at twitter at hoodoo tv also on facebook yeah and we'd like to thank our friends over at outrightgeekery.com be sure to check them out they got all sorts of nerdy stuff on there links down in the description thank you for watching hoodoo tv we appreciate you guys